So look, we all used to be together, running back group. We be having practice. All you hear is dudes talking about. Man, that girl Mercedes, I'm gonna get all one day. Yeah, I'm yeah, telling you this. Nah. Like, that's all he talking about. I'm like, I said, I said, but she don't want you, bro. He's like, nah, that's gonna be my wife one day. I said, but she, she got too many options to just want you. Exactly. He said, man, she fine, but I'm gonna get her one day and make her my wife. And look, you and your wife. <laughs> well, we're off to Southern Miss to celebrate Bay's 10 year football reunion for the 2011 championship football team in Southern Miss. So, Tell us about this road right here. It's the way to get to the highway so you can get to school. I've traveled this road many nights to go to college, leave home to go grocery shop in my parents' pantry, and then go back to school. <laughs> hey, are, are you nervous? Are we there yet? Are you nervous? I'm hungry. I'm sleepy. Not nervous. Nervous, no. Nervous, no. nervous. You haven't seen a lot of these people since you left college. No, we ain't nothing to be nervous about. <laughs> when that guy. I've always felt that. Okay. When you know who you are, or whose you are, and you got confidence wherever the door you walk into, no matter who's behind that door. Oh, it's stank up through here. Let's I just drop bars party. on her and all she can say is it's stank through here. In this area, let somebody fool you. And cut. <laughs> all right, so we finally made it to Hattiesburg. About to pull up to the country club in about five minutes where I'm gonna have dinner with some of my old teammates and coaches that I haven't seen in five years and haven't seen since you know before that i guess 10 years i'm excited i'm excited i'm also excited about this food though i'm ready to grow it down ready to chow down is it playing believe that must be the current team mm -hmm. <laughs> Get your no loud or boisterous laughing. You travel on business trips only. Y'all know that. Y'all know how it goes. No, don't throw no CDs and uh, on the bus or the plane and all those things. First thing, guys, we need to. Uh, first of all, I want to recognize Mr. G that's here tonight. All right. Yeah. success because of him. Whether you knew it or not, that was the man behind the scenes that made us all successful. All right? That was the man. For me, this is uh, this may be the highlight of my dang life, is getting back together with you guys. All right? I mean, really. I, 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 and every one of the coaches I talked to, all of them hate it that they can't be here. All of them want us to FaceTime them tomorrow night after their games are over. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, they all do. Yeah, yeah. You know, Dish is over in damn Europe. He was, oh, you had, uh, Snow had him on FaceTime tonight. He still, he still got his nasty butts tattoo on him. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I, I, I mean, you guys, I don't know if y'all know this, but just on the golf course today, talking about defense. We had an unbelievable offense and we had unbelievable special teams. I got a pick. Well, all right, I'm going to put it like this. The offense lost the game against Marshall. And the defense lost the game against UAP. That's still an FBS record. Right? Eight, there were 13 non-offensive touchdowns. Eight interceptions returned for touchdowns. Yeah. 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 Now, when you look at when you start thinking about the guys at every position, and we were talking about it today, and we we had unbelievable players. I mean, we we had, not only that, but you guys loved each other, you cared about each other, mm -hmm. you fought for each other, and you you were an incredible team. That's why you won a championship, right? And the thing about it, they they didn't know, 
They don't know. They don't know, baby. There's so many things from that season that I remember. I remember that that the uh, the conference when we're play, getting ready to play Houston is trying to talk me into getting off the field earlier so they could do a big deal for Houston. You remember that, Richard? I, I mean, I basically yeah, cussed the yeah, big yeah, yeah, commissioner yeah, 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 yeah. And we went out there and hey, took what, care of a business. What you say? Well, I'm not going to say what I said. <laughs> 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 we called in case Keenum the night yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, big time. And you know what? Hey, don't, don't, don't take it. Houston had a great team. There's no doubt. But on that day, we were, we were dominant, guys. There was nobody in the country that would beat you guys that day. Nobody. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. Our defense that day would have stopped any offense in the country anywhere. I mean, it was, it was, it was unbelievable. Don, I mean, think about it. Think about the special teams play. Think about what happened on offense and the guys that, that – I mean, you guys were incredible. That's why you're here tonight. You made you made memories and you made bonds that are going to last your entire life. And it's not always about the plays that we think about. You think about the shit that happened in the locker room. You think about the shit that happened over, you know, over at the dorm, over, 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 over at the apartments. Yeah. 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 talking too long but listen hey, not many of y'all remember but when i first got here we were two and six to start this thing off right and struggling gerald mcgrath and tumbo and all those guys right i need everybody in this room and our whole 2011 team to get behind southern miss the team mm -hmm. just support them just let them know that we care get behind the coaching staff that's our team Amen. and we're behind them no matter what so make sure they know that you get a chance to come to a game, support them, all right? Because that's what we wanted when we were here, mm -hmm. right? And we had great crowd support when we were here, you know? And it was because of what you guys did, because of what you guys did. So tonight, I think we got a uh, drink tab up there, dinner on is on. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's on Todd McCall. <laughs> Film in between the first and second quarter, and if you ain't on that film, you were not you bought. Were not you were not bought. 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 You and, and be, we'll, we'll be hanging out there and watching the game. After that, we'll go back to the tailgate. Make some more memories. Bless his food. Bless his time together. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Just a spectacular. It was just couldn't ask for a better, better year and a better situation. And in all the years that I've spent in, in athletics, uh, that night in Houston was spe is one special event that I'll, I'll never forget the rest of my life. And you guys made it special, and, and you made that year special. And just like Coach talked to you, you you you'll have those memories forever, and no one will ever take that away from you. 
and winning 12 games, you know, we all hope that somebody at Southern Miss can come back and do that one of these years, but you guys did it, and it was incredible. And uh, I don't know if you remember, but uh, I got blasted about that time about uh, taking the team to uh, Hawaii. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we do it. We love Hawaii. <laughs> Let me tell you, I just felt like for all that you did for the university, that you guys deserve something that was really special. And you can go to Dallas any time of the year. There was no way, the way the contracts were written, that we could go to Memphis. And so the best place to go was Hawaii. And I guarantee you, not many of y'all will get another chance to go Straight out there. Up. <laughs> I've been out there once in my lifetime. Me too. I didn't make that trip. Y'all probably forget it, but I didn't make that trip because I felt like with the criticism I got of us, you know, every, I was going to Hawaii because that's what I wanted to do. And that was the only reason I didn't go. But my heart was with you guys, and my heart is with you tonight, and it always been because you're special. And it's one thing in my memory and my career that I'll never forget, this team. And I love each and every one of you. And thanks for coming back. And I hope you'll do it in another 10 years. And I hope I'll be able to come back. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, come on, Todd. I, I consider him one of my closest friends. He don't talk to me much anymore. He don't answer his phone like normal. Right? <laughs> but he's one of my closest friends. And I know that I can call him anytime I need it. Just like you guys know, I hope you call either of us anytime. Yeah. Damn yeah, it, get it. Go. Hey, uh, Stan Renai's big damn. How many of y'all was getting in good shape? Him and I. Good. I'm so tired. Uh, hey, hey y'all, Lamar, yeah. your locker room is going to look a little bit different, but we'll have the names on the back of your jersey. We'll have on the job. Hey, let me tell you something. This is a special deal. Now, the other places that I've been, you know, going back to my Alabama days as an undergrad, Anytime you get a chance to go and have a reunion, guys, let me tell you something. Right. This is 10 years later, 20 years from now, go do the same thing. Because I'm telling you right now, they get more and more special as time goes on. But uh, let me tell you, the, the camaraderie about this team has always been something that I thought was just absolutely un, you know, unbelievable to be a part of. I'm just happy that I was able to be a part of it, too. What's that? What's that? Hey! Hey! What's up, son? <laughs> I consider y'all all my family. Yeah, you know, y'all, you know, and I'm gonna talk about some personal moments for me, but y'all were like an important part in my life, you know. Um, especially, you know, when you have certain expectations in your life and you think your life is gonna go a certain way, you have certain obligations, and you know, and you think you're gonna make it to the NFL and you know, things look bright, and then your senior year, you know, you blow out your knees. Uh, I talk about it often to, you know, high school players in New Orleans and stuff like that. But I went through, a, you know, a big phase of depression in my life, you know. Not being able to uh, execute those dreams and goals that I set for myself from the age of seven years old. But, you know, being in that room and being around my brothers my family, um, you know, I wasn't even able to dwell in those moments throughout my last few months as a college football player, you know? So it was always high hopes. I always, I always felt good. I always rewind those moments at certain times to remind me of places I've been, you know, mentally and, uh, you know, and, and future places I want to take myself. And, um, you know, it's just certain times where, like that moment in 2011, pretty much set the tone for my entire life. You know, so it's like, it sets a mark in your life that you never want to go under. You know, so everything since that, it's like I aim to do better than, it. and that was a, a high moment. So, you know, so the, so the years following that moment, it was a lot of depression for myself personally, you know, trying to figure out what, like all I know is football, all I know is sports. What's next for me in life? What can I do? But, you know, that's why I say, you know, y'all my family, because I was always able to go back to those moments we shared. And, you know, I was always able to go look on Facebook and social media, and I see my brothers 
doing, you know, doing things that they love to do and uh, getting new jobs and getting promotions and raising families and, you know, certain people, even like, you know, Hattiesburg, Tadron. You know, I know we joke on him a lot, but I've, you know, you know, I've been, I've been able to find, I've been able to find motivation by his story, you know, knowing that he was a walk on and he lasted through all five years and actually was able to sustain and play on the field. And now he's, you know, at the top executive position of a major, major organization Andy in my city. Yes. You know, and he got money. Hey. 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 you know, had a similar story yep. and walked on and didn't have things promised to him and then, you know, after college was able to execute some things and, you know, seeing, uh, you know, seeing different people on TV and seeing Austin on TV and just being able to keep up with everybody and just, you know, just setting that precedent for my life and always being able to have that as a standard. So, you know, I just want to tell y'all, you know, every, any success or any, you know, uh, accomplishments I have is, of course, like, I think it, it, the root of it was that 2011 team, you know, like that. That's yeah. a, that's a, oh, yeah. Yeah. I never want to go into that level. That Altruism. was a high in my life. So, Altruism. You know, yeah, you know. I, Altruism. I yeah, you know. So that was a high in my life, and I never wanted to fall below that. Right. And, you know, like, that's something that keeps me motivated to this day. Ten years later, um, in my in my industry, in my field of work, anything I speak on, uh, anytime I speak to younger athletes, whether it be high school, college, junior high school, you know, like I'm always brought back to those moments that we share, whether it be in the locker room, uh, the perseverance we just from even you know our freshman year, you know, a lot of us we came in with Fedora and started two and six like he mentioned, and, and just to be able to cap that year off. And you know, so I appreciate y'all, uh, every last one of y'all from the players to the to the admin staff, the coaches, trainers, equipment managers, you know, I just want to extend and say I appreciate y'all. I just wanted to, you know, express that feeling. We love you, Coach. Yeah. 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 What you put into the University of Southern Mississippi for the other young, young, other young linebackers to understand and be able to play to affirm from you, man. Bro, man, we appreciate you. We appreciate you. All the hurt that you've been through and all the pain that you've been through and for us to, to come up behind you and to be able to play, man, that's love. That's love. Yeah. 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 Everything that I've done, everything that I've done in the NFL, everything I've done in coaching, I think about everyone in this room that helped, that helped me do that. And um, to be honest with you, I think about all the lessons that, that coach taught us the whole time. Like, giving that much more. Y'all sure, remember that? Yeah. I remember that shit, don't yeah. you? That's too much. It's this much. It's this much. It's this much. And I think about, I think about in life, you know, as we're like college football days are beyond us, and now we're we're dealing with real shit. We're playing. We're doing whatever we're doing, and um, giving that much more, and everything you're doing, everything, right? Because that's what. Because what what I think about is he coached football, but he coached us in life, man. And um, he's here tonight because he cares about all of us past football. I think about that shit all the time and everything that I'm doing. And like, if I can give a little bit more, I might make it. Might make my life a little bit better. That's what Coach taught us. And that's, that's to me, that's really what, what team sports have always been about. How much can you give? How much more can you give to your family? How much can you more give to your wife? How much more can you give to your kids? And that's what he taught us in four or five simple little years. How much more can you give? And that's what I'm trying to do. That's what we're all trying to do. So out hanging with the fellas. 
little nightcap with my teammates. Good morning, Brad. Here we go. I want everyone to know what we did 10 years ago was special. Yes. Have another one. <laughs> and, and what year was it? 2011. <laughs> we did something real. We did something special. And, and I'll be honest with you. I wouldn't be where I am today without what we did 10 years ago. And I think a lot of people can say the same thing, right? Amen. Amen. It's, it means a lot to me. It means a lot to everybody here that everybody else came tonight and, and was here. And we're going to do this again in 10 more years. Pat Washington said it, said it. We got one heartbeat. We all came together. We did one Pat thing. Washington. We had a goal. We accomplished it. And and from here on out, whether it be your family, you know, whatever you do, you know, have a goal and and set out and accomplish it. That's grab it by the throat. Grab it by the throat and choke the shit out. Of it. <laughs> That's what we do. That's what we do, baby. So on that note, we out. Oh my God. Oh Kristen, why are you <laughs> farting in here? Oh my God. Oh, it's stink. Oh, I'm out of here. What'd you say, babe? What kind of impression he leaving on us? Like yeah. <laughs> we can't take his ass nowhere. Literally. I can't take his ass nowhere. Kristen, what you got to say about what you just did? I didn't do nothing. Yes, you did. Oh. I didn't do nothing. Yes, you did. I'm a dish. I'm a stink. You stink. It is cold. Can you see that? Can't see it, do it, babe. You yeah, you can't see, see that. It, 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 it don't look like it's cold, but it's cold out here. So the crew, we headed to go get us uh, some apparel from the good old Wally World. Put a nice hoodie under my fit today. <laughs> Christian Sanders, get your stank yourself in that car. You know I got a bundle up hoodie. Somebody don't ask for no autograph. It's early in the morning. I ain't signing no autographs today. Find me a new workout shirt. Found me a new everyday shirt. Where's your everyday shirt? Right there. Where? That white one? Definitely not. We ain't even start that. Okay. You starting off on the wrong foot. Kind of like an all white. That's why. The women's? Mm -hmm. I knew it. You want to go to the Texas store and get a different hoodie or you just gonna... That's why I fit. That's why the fit is like that. That's why my back. And that's why them black ones were more um, loose loose and the material was different. Yeah, it felt like my back was too wide for this. Yeah. What textbook store? Where's the textbook store? It's across the street from the school. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. Go to that store? Yeah. I came in here for a hoodie. You one hoodie. That. A $20 hoodie. That's what I came in here for. And look what my wife is doing. I got a question for you, but I don't want to annoy you. Yeah, don't. Oh yeah, yeah, I think that is new. Mm -hmm. What about the fountain? Is it still? Yeah, Put the music down, man. You're gonna give me a uh, copyright infringement. Right. Oh, yeah, we gotta go all the way down. We gotta go that way? The text, the uh, other place right here. Oh, okay, okay. Look open. All right, round two. Let's see if we can find some better gear. Oh man, I already see better gear. So it came here first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm taking all this stuff at the Wally World. It's going back. It's going back, bro. Yeah, yeah. You didn't know. You did not know. I did know. I told you let's go to the bookstore first. The bookstore got way more swag. Sure. But you, nah. 
We're gonna go there to Wally World. So shout out to Aaron and Mercedes for thinking of the bookstore. Just got us some dope purchases. You really finna pull everything out, dudes. I ain't gonna pull everything out. Cause I mean, ain't like we ain't putting it on, so we good. Open it up for Aaron. Here. care about your rendezvous. All my old tattoo spots. We don't care about your rendezvous. And that tattoo spot over there by Eagle Trail. Where's the gang gun start? Oh, you're gonna get the gang gun start. 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 Oh, you're
Union. All the fellas here. The boys are back in town. That's where it go down. Right there, baby. I'm putting y'all on the YouTube, man. On the channel. <laughs>
You about to play a game? Huh? You want me to tell him to get you some shoulder pads and a helmet? You gonna play today? You gonna beat North Texas? Yes. Alright. I'm a Christian hat. <laughs> <laughs> Win song, you lose song. Even against your kids. You what you gotta say, thing. Christian? Huh? What you gotta say about that? I got one. I'm showing you, but. Did I win or did you win? I, I think did. I won. I did. I still got it. Oh, no, I still got it. You still got it? I still got it. <laughs> this boy right here, he lost. I won. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I'm gonna get you a beat. <laughs> that is crazy. Christian is so big now. Feel out here on the field during the game, supporting these guys, old teammates, man. It's a beautiful feeling. Hopefully, we can get this. Three picks and two fumbles. Touchdown! Oh my God! Touchdown! Shoot it! Uh huh. Hey, huh? <laughs> let's go, let's go. We need to start right here. We need to start right here. We need to start right here. 
So he snaps it. He's reading. He's going through his progressions. There we go. Incomplete, baby. Ah, right, ball. Let's go. Fourth down. Let's go, baby. The champs are here. Navy, SMU, Utah, East Carolina, Central Florida. You ain't on that tape, you ain't Tell him again, go. You ain't on that tape, you ain't balling. Go ahead, go ahead. They would finish number 19 that year in the final association of baseball. While it is hard to believe it has already been 10 years since this team roamed the gridiron, their accomplishments remain some of the most memorable in school history. Welcome back to the run to all the members of that team. Let's go, baby. <laughs> snow, let me see you snow. Oh, that was close. Ah, shit. Oh! So look, we all used to be together, running back group. We be having practice. All you hear is dudes talking about, man, that girl Mercedes. I'm gonna get her one day. Yeah, I'm yeah, telling you this. Nah. Like, That's all he talking about. I'm like, I said, I said, but she don't want you, bro. He's like, nah, that's gonna be my wife one day. I said, but she, she got too many options to just want you. Exactly. He said, he said man, she's fine. I'm gonna get her one day. I make her my wife. And look. You ain't watch. Well, what? Okay. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I said, Damn, Speak those that? things that are not as though they were. <laughs> exactly. That's how you Just like do that. it, dude. Ten years later, baby. Ten years later. Let's, let's go. Life into existence. Oh, After y'all started talking, he didn't say that. You know the word about you. You know y'all couldn't really talk. Y'all couldn't talk to him. Yeah. 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 So I'm like, maybe he just moved on or something like that. But that means he was it. Not mm -hmm. say a word, and then couldn't find out y'all man. I said, man, that dude, dude, can play the game the right way. <laughs> I said, he done played the game the right way. I said, when he, when he actually started talking to him, he shut up about it. Yeah. 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 So he, so he know we weren't supposed to be. That's it, what's up? Yeah. 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 Alright, y'all, so look. Quick history lesson, quick FYI. Sadie used to be the camera girl uh, when I played. And she was the camera girl when we won the 2011 uh, championship. So this used to be her right here. Not to carry to the goal, nine yard line. She said gold rush. Oh, nice. I'm gonna try it. She said it's everybody's favorite. Let's see. What's your take? <laughs> <laughs> Back, but this time with a kid. <laughs> Back with a kid. If it was no Southern Miss, it wouldn't be no this guy. All right, y'all. So tough night, man. The boys actually couldn't pull it off today. After going up 14-0 in the first quarter, while we were on the field, while me and my teammates were on the field, while the 2011 conference champs were on the field, those boys were playing, playing with passion. They were playing with the edge. They were playing with the fire. They was playing fast. They was playing violent. 
And I don't know, it was just like, once we left the field, after our recognition, it was just like, I don't know what happened, you know? So uh, I, I got faith in the program. You know, they'll figure it out, they'll get it together. And, uh, you know, hopefully by the, the 20th anniversary, you know, we'd be the turn it around. So we headed back to uh, Alabama. Unfortunately, man, we, we took a couple of spins around the block. Got a chance to spend some QT uh, with Kristen, with my sister-in-law, with, with my wife. So that's all that really matters.